What's up, guys? Gary here with Self Taught Dev. I had one of you guys ask a question on the channel. Also, when it comes to projects via Team Treehouse, is a wise. Okay, that's not the first one. Uh, so he basically wanted me to compare coding boot camps versus Team Treehouse because he was having a hard time making a making a decision. And I was in the same boat. I was I was about to take out a loan to try and do a coding boot camp along with some of my savings. Um, and then the second question is, should you put the Team Treehouse projects on your portfolio or should you make your own projects? But we'll go and cover this one first. Um, so I am a little partial to Team Treehouse because that's what I used to get a job. Um, I mean, it only took eight months and just based on cost, that's way better. Even if you like take a year to finish Team Treehouse and get a job, because let's we'll see. The course report says it's about roughly tw uh, one thousand or uh, twelve thousand dollars to attend attend a boot camp. Oh, sorry, my allergies get me. So, but that's what average full time program boot camp cost. Okay, yeah, that's just for the boot camp cost. So that's not counting like opportunity costs of not being able to work while you're doing the boot camp. That's assuming you're going to like a, a full time three month boot camp where you just code twelve hours a day for three months. So there's the $12,000 cost of the boot camp, and then there's the however much it costs to sustain you while you're not working for three months, which I think for me, it was gonna be like 25K roughly. And I had enough of my savings to just live, but then I was gonna have to take out a loan to do the boot camp, but I didn't really wanna have to take out debt to do that. Um, plus Team Treehouse, I mean, that's only 200 bucks a month. So even if it takes a year, it's what? twenty or 2,400. Even if it takes you two years, it's 4,800. It's 4,800, so still cheaper. Um, I say as long as you're, I feel like the only benefits to going to an actual boot camp would be one, having like the structure of people around you who have the same goal, which I mean, you do kind of get that with Team Treehouse and their Slack channel anyway, but actually being in a physical environment where you're forced to sit down code 12 hours a day, if you don't have the willpower to like come home after a long day of work and sit down and work on this, then you'll probably have to go to a boot camp. Otherwise, I mean, I guess you'll never get it done. But if you have a shitty job, that's emotional leverage you can use to get this done. That's what I did. Like every day after work, I was tired, but I was said, Hey, if I don't do this, I'm going to have to wake up and go answer phone calls again tomorrow. And I'm going to have to do this for a career. I couldn't do that. Um, and I knew that as long as I stayed on this track, I'd become a web developer eventually. Cause there's no way you can like keep practicing something and not get better at it and not get to a point where you can get a job. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. Cost, loss of income, pros on boot camps is the structure. You study all day. Oh yeah, they also uh, they also have career help. I'm guessing some boot camps do, where they can help you find a job. Um, all Team Treehouse has. They've got a few courses where they'll help you out with your resume and stuff. And I mean, they give you like tips on like networking and a few tips to help find a job. Team Treehouse pro cost because it's only two hundred. Pro, you can still work nine to five and generate income, so you can do it on the side. Pro, I did it and got a job in eight months. Cons, not as much structure. So that's my pro con list for boot camps and Team Treehouse. Um, I don't know how long it'll take to get a job after a coding boot camp. Um, let's say you do like a three month coding boot camp, and then it you get a job the next month. So it took you four months to get a job. So do you want to pay? Well, like roughly twelve thousand, plus whatever opportunity cost there is from you not working, or do you want to pay sixteen thousand? And that's assuming you work, like you work at it. Um, let's do, we'll say twenty four, because we'll we'll see what takes you a year. So twelve thousand for a job as a web developer in three months. Or twenty four hundred for a job as a web developer in a year, which it'll probably take less than that. So it'll probably cost less than twenty four thousand. Just depends on how hard you push yourself, how much you study, and how 
your resume looks and a bunch of other factors. But that's the choice. So up to you. I chose Team Treehouse. I don't like spending a lot of money. But yeah. If you guys have any other questions, uh, just leave it down in the comments below. Um, wait, there's another one. Is it wise to put the projects via Team Treehouse on your resume? Or do you have projects that are not related to the tech degree? So this is my portfolio right now. Apparently it's pretty big. Or my internet's slow. Is it still up? Is my website down? What's going on here? Anyway, I have all of my... I haven't updated my website since I got a job. There we go. So this is my little website. Um, all these projects are my Team Treehouse projects. Um, I don't, I don't see an issue with putting those on there because I mean, it's, I mean, you're not making the design, but you're not going to, you're not trying to be a graphic designer, are you? You're trying to be a web developer. Um, and there are some things like some of the JavaScript projects, like this one. Like they didn't, they gave you, they gave me the HTML and CSS, so it was like a pre-styled website, and they were like, hey, add the JavaScript to this. So all I put. All, that's all I worked on, the JavaScript on this one. So as long as you're not trying to take credit for somebody else's HTML and CSS, I think it's perfectly fine to have these on there. Plus you get like the benefit of a pretty good design versus whatever's on Free Code Camp. Which nothing against Free Code Camp, like it's a good place to go learn too. They've just got, I can't sign in. I don't want you guys to see that. They, their projects just don't look good like these at all. Oh, there we go. I'm signed in. Cool. Curriculum. Uh, let's see. Where are their projects at? Responsive Web Design, Tribute Page. Yeah, see, this is like their basic one. This is their Tribute Page. It doesn't look like super bad. It's just not like pretty either. Versus, I think this is Team Treehouse's. This is the second one. The first one, you're basically just switching out an image and some text. But this is the first one you actually build. And one last question if this dude if, if he watches this, um, Team Treehouse does cover SAS, React, etc. Um, if we go to change tech degree, we can go look at one real quick here. What time are we at? Oh, I gotta go to work in 15 minutes. We're only at seven minutes? Sweet. Why is my internet being so slow? Oh wait, there it is. Ha. Um, so, yeah. If we look at the little curriculum here, this is everything it covers. Um, so, intro to HTML and CSS, jQuery, SAS basics, CSS transitions, transforms, AJAX basics, CSS grid. You can learn SVGs, which are really helpful. I use those a lot at work. And then the projects here, too. I'm on number four, web style guide. That's the one you use SAS on. But yeah, you learn SAS. Um, th this one, like the front end developer tech degree, doesn't cover React. That'd be the j uh, full stack JavaScript one. With well, this one, I think you learn a little bit of SQL too, and some AJAX. Get decent with JavaScript. You learn Grid, Flexbox. All that fun stuff. But, yeah, those are it for the questions for today. Uh, if you guys have any, just leave them down in the comments below. Happy to help you out. Um, I am going to start doing resume reviews. I got a resume. I need to review that. Uh, so feel free to email me your resume. Email is going to be in the description. I don't feel like typing it out. But, yeah, I will see you guys next time, and peace.